Hi team. Usually at this time of the year, I start to clean up my office in preparation for the new year. And one of the folders that I have been remiss in trying to keep clean is my deleted items. So you'll notice that I have over 6,000 emails. And how do I know how many emails I've got there? If you right mouse button on a folder and you come down to properties, you will see that you can say show total number of items in here. So it is a bit daunting to see that I have over 6,000 emails in that folder. So by clicking on that folder, there are multiple ways that you can start to remove your email. So you can do something as simple as just pressing uh, your shift key and delete, or you could press delete as well. I just shift and delete all the time. And you go yes, and it's taken that email out. You can select multiple emails at a time, again using that shift delete, and again you clicking on yes to remove those. So let's have a look at how we can make this a little bit more efficient. So I'm going to change my sort here from or range by date to be from. And by doing that, it's now resequenced all my emails. And I might choose to get rid of all of my um, coffee habits. So I can click on that uh, heading there. And again, I can do that shift delete and it will apply it to all the items in that group. But be careful with that one. Just make sure that you have actually scrolled through, you've looked at all your emails and you are taking out the right ones you want. So again, I'm going to go OK. It says it's going to take them out permanently. So as you can see, these are all quick and easy ways. Now, knowing that I like to keep my deleted items just in case, Let's have a look at how I usually get rid of them from a date perspective. So I'm going to change my range back to date. And if I do a control end now, you'll see I go back. Usually your Outlook account will keep up to 12 months. And I've got 12 months of uh, emails here. So if I want to get rid of, let's say, all of the November emails, and I'm just you know scrolling through here, having a little quick look in those emails, and yes, these are all ones that can go. What I can do is come up to the search bar, clicking on the advanced search option, and I'm going to change this from being the 1st of the 11th, even though I don't go back that far, uh, 2023, and I'm going to take this out to the 30th of November 2023. And when I click on search, you will now see that Outlook has returned to me all of the emails in that period. Now, one of the great things of this after you've checked it all out is you can do a control A. So it's now selected 75 items here. And again, I'm gonna do that shift delete. As I said, you can press delete. I'm just always into shift delete. I'm gonna go yes. It's now going to delete, permanently delete those items you'll start to see that my deleted number starts to come down. And now when I close that search off and I do a control end, you will now see that I'm back up to the 1st of December. So I strongly suggest doing probably a month at a time. It just gives you an opportunity to look at the different emails that you've got in there and you can select them from there. I hope you get that number down and I'll get back to work here. Thanks for your time. Bye.